This is a quick video to explain the uh, trim uh, feature in Lightburn's node editing tool. So, uh, so first what we're going to do is we're going to create a square here uh, and then we're going to create uh, create another overlapping object. So we want to turn these into one object. Uh, now the first thing that's important is you cannot edit the nodes. Uh, so this is the node editing tool. You can't edit nodes. Uh, if you do not have uh, a path. And so when you create shapes, there's still shapes. So what you have to do, select the shapes. Uh, and we're going to go to edit, sw switch those to um, convert to path, uh, which is also control shift C. That should uh, change them into uh, editable shapes. So now we have nodes that we can edit. Uh, and so what you want to do is you're trying to trim the overlapping parts, right? So we want a kind of a square with a, with a, a merged way. There's a couple different ways to do this. If you have a simple overlap like this, um, obviously the easiest way would be to select both, both shapes and then just weld them. Uh, you use like the welded shapes. Uh, so like that. Uh, but for this example, we're going to use the, the uh, node editor tool. We're going to hover over the piece of line that we want to disappear, right? So in this case, we're going to hover over the overlapping line here in the center. We're going to hit T uh, for trim. It's going to trim out the inside piece uh, that's overlapping. And then if you wanted to remove the, the piece uh, that's overlapping into the square, you could do that also. You hover over there. And trim that. It's going to trim. So basically, you accomplish the same thing as a weld, um, but using the T to individually trim things. Uh, I hope this helps. And there's a lot of other uh, great tricks in the node editing tool. Um, I do recommend looking up the keyboard shortcuts for the node editing tool, which makes uh, things much easier and gives you some ideas on. How different things in the node editing tool work. Um, this is probably the tool I spend the most amount of time in. Cheers!